Ain't no gunshots, but they're getting low. Low, 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 getting low. All right, boys, what's going on? Uh, it's your boy, the, the Sensei, back with another video, and we're actually, I believe we're like 730 subs away from 40,000 on YouTube, which is pretty nuts. So, if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe when we're posting pretty frequent content, and it's pretty pretty quality content. You can ask my subs in the comments below if, you, if you're curious about the content, but um, yeah, so let's go ahead. We're doing some R3 Spinanza versus these Nuts, one of the... Uh, best cobra players of all time so he's he's a absolute legend he's a beast of a player uh we're gonna run some spadanza r3 spadanza that is and go from there so i tossed him the code i don't know what's taking him so long we're gonna start off on i don't know which map i want to start on i mean we could do uh, maps don't really matter but let's just start off on like a. We can do like a blast or something, right? This is good. All right, we got Mr. D's. Bring it on, baby. We're gonna go to a quick 1K. This is like uh, my first game of the day, so hopefully we're not too rusty and our micro's not too bad, because this is a pretty micro heavy loadout. Good old bomb mortar. Um, we're both quite familiar with the bomb mortar, me and D's nuts. So this will actually be a balloon trap down here he's gonna start with a mortar i'm gonna start with an ng i'm gonna go straight for my balloon trap there's no power cooldown as well i should have mentioned that to him just so he's aware but um i think power cooldown's stupid so that's obviously why i turn it off but makes things more interesting as well so we have our upgrade balloons we have monkey ass and we have eco nerf eco nerf is can be pretty dang good especially if someone's trying to mortar micro or say moab assassin micro because Say they sell one of those to rebuy. Say they sell a, uh, an artillery battery and rebuy it. They're only going to get half of what they would normally sell it for. So you're only getting 40% of the initial worth of the purchase, which is not much at all. So it's easy to drain yourself if you're eco-nerfed. And you kind of have to be cautious about that. So just something to note, boys. Something to note. So yeah, there's no power cooldown. I think he knows that after placing that. I hope. I really want to go for my, I really want to go for my balloon trap here. So I'm actually going to go for that right now. It'll be worth it. I'll miss it on a little bit of eco, but it's worth it. And we'll send, we'll just plop down some of those. We're not going to really need those at all. All right. So we have the balloon trap. He'll probably follow suit and do something similar and get up a balloon trap of his own or something. Um, yeah, it looks like he's about to. Never mind. He just sold it. Probably just rebuying it in better placement. I would imagine. Could be wrong though. So we're gonna get this up to a balloon buster actually, just to kind of catch all the possible stragglers. So he's anti NG, I guess. Never mind, he's finally placing an NG, and it's Bonanza, so you're gonna get quite okay. We are recording quite a bit from your balloon trap here. So maybe he doesn't want to use balloon traps. He would have sent an anger emote or something. Right? I don't know. I mean it's even playing field, so I don't know why you would be anti balloon trap, in all honesty. All right, so here we go. We're just going to be going on here. He is doing the same. I'm just going to keep spamming some NGs up here. Quite a bit of balloon traps on the screen for us. He's going in for a balloon impact, actually. Okay. So I, he's going to upgrade balloon something at us. All right, we'll be fine against that. Just want to get up one more trappy. There we go. And then we double acid if he does go for a massive rush, which I don't imagine he will. You never know. So I'm actually gonna go for I'm just gonna go for a signal flare down here, just in case he goes for some cheeky camera rush. You never know. So he's planning on placing balloon traps. Well done. He's out eagling us a little bit, a little bit, but we do have a lot of money coming in from our balloon traps. However, our sentries are kind of high on the pops here, so we're gonna go ahead and sell these sentries and get up some more balloon traps. And there we go. That's solid. Five balloon traps on the map. I like that a lot. Now, this game, I don't know how late it's going to go. Obviously, we have to be worried about... I think we'll be fine against fast cool on VFVs. I really do. Even if we're eco-nerfed, I think we have so much money invested in our balloon traps that we'll have the ability to just buy and resell. So, I'm not really worried about that. I am worried about, like, round 22 all out is all my gods, though. That is something I'm worried about. So, we have to be cautious here. 
I'm gonna go to 4k eco. He's still ecoing while getting up my assassins. Okay. Not really worried, but I suppose I should get up some of these. We'll keep these all on. Uh, we'll put these on strong, actually. Because we do want to shred this. Oh my god, layer. Let's just get three right now. That'll be fine. And I suppose I get up another balloon trap. This is kind of just to have for selling power. So if I do get in a pinch, I can sell all these for like. What, there's like 5k each, and we have like 7 of them up there, so we have like 35,000 just sitting in that top left corner of money to work with, so that's awesome. I'm going to sell this here. We're going to get a big one up here, actually, and we're going to get one of these, put that on close, and that's good. He's going to actually upgrade balloon something at us. I will use that as well. Have fun with that, buddy. All right, and let's get up, uh, let's get up one more of these here. Down close. All right. <clears throat> okay, so he's actually overclocking his uh, Mob Assassins. Very sweaty play. He's triple overclocking one of those. I don't know how effective that's actually going to be, but you never know. Could be a big rain place. I, I don't know if that's a myth or not, that you can triple overclock one singular tower. I've heard rumors of it, but I don't know if it's legit or not. So whatever. We'll find out soon enough. All right, so I'm going to stop sending here. Also, the eco nerf does affect the balloon traps, so you're only getting half from your balloon traps. But that's basically normal then. Alright, we have a bunch of these. I'm not even going to use the overclock. I don't think it's going to be worth it for us. Maybe on one mob assassin, but other than that, I don't really think we need to. So I'm going to stop ecoing here. Yeah, definitely time to stop ecoing, so <laughs> that's what we're going to do. All right, I'm going to use that just so I don't accidentally click. Actually, it doesn't matter. There's no power cooldown, but that's nah, whatever. Let's use our acids up here. Okay. We're good to go. And we are still getting a lot of money from these balloon traps. So this was definitely a good play. He's actually mortar stalling that. We're going to send him this. All right. When will Mr. D's rush us here is the question. You can't sleep on the Moab Assassins, though. They do so much Moab damage, bro. And kind of uh, basically mix that with the artillery battery, and it's very freaking good. So he's still ecoing. I don't think it's worth it to still eco because we're not going to be able to defend around 30. We aren't going to be. There's no way. Like an all-out round 30 with no stall other than mortar is going to be very, very difficult to defend. Uh, without countering especially so we'll see we have more uh, assassins on the map than him i want to reserve this little bottom left area for mortar micro though so that's why i'm kind of moving some stuff around right now get that up there we go this should be good for catching balloons at the end here nice 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 we'll get some more down here Keeping them on first is fine as well. Maybe you want a few on strong, but not a big deal here. So we're going to rush right at round 30. It's going to be the play. We actually are going to use an eco nerf right here. He's probably going to counter do the same. All right, he's going to be saving his. Okay. Well, we are going to go for a rush right about now. I want to get one more eco boost and then we're going to go for it. Actually... Right as I get my second eco nerf back, we're going to rush here. Unless he rushes first, but... Yeah, we're going to go for it right about now. We should have it back here shortly. And good luck, have fun. He's probably going to immediate counter. Shocked if he doesn't. He's actually going to go for the defend, actually. Don't know if that's a play. We should actually keep some of these energies here. He's going to eco nerf us now. We're only getting half from selling all these, by the way. We're gonna do this. We're gonna go ahead and mortar saw this. I definitely should have kept some of those, but it's fine. All right, we're gonna use all these. We just gotta make these into BFBs and then we can mortar stall. All right, we successfully BFB them all and that should be GG's, I believe. And yeah, he just kind of countered. He relied too heavily on his, uh, what, what you would call them? I can't think of what they're called. Uh, he relied too heavily on his. Bomb mortar to defend that, but GG's.
Start farm mortar. Very, I like this loadout a lot. However, we have self freeze, which ruins everything. There's Sabo powers for you. If you could ban Sabo powers from an arena, that'd be awesome. Like a custom arena, such as the thing we're playing right now. Not arena, like custom match. Should be able to do that, but whatever. Self freeze is annoying. Basically, you can't sell any towers for what, 15 seconds or something like that? It's some absurd amount of time. I'm not sure the exacts, but. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and use this. No, no fear, man. We're just gonna use it right now. Send him this. We'll farm on. Let's see what he does. He's gonna get up that. So we'll just keep push pushing him with some pink balloons. Fine if we leak a little bit. Not really worried about that. Save our spike storms for late game, I suppose. He's gonna be ecoing pretty heavily here. I'm just gonna be farming though. Yeah, self freeze is a really kind of strategic and annoying power, is how I would put it. Super annoying, but it's a good power. It basically cancels your opponent's ability to micro, which is the dumbest thing of all time, but it is what it is, and we gotta work with it, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, so you kind of have to, I guess we just get up a bunch of mortar stalls for when we get self freeze or something like that. I don't know. I'm not really sure yet. He's ecoing super, super hard. I don't know if that's the play. I don't think it really makes sense in this aspect here. You go like that. All right, so I don't, I'm, I'm kind of surprised he went with the heavy eco approach in Spinanza. Because it's Bonanza, you know, man. So, farms will outweigh you go every single time. Alright, we're just going to keep getting these up. We should probably force a Spolt on his side, yeah? Or a Mortar or something. Yeah, he goes for the Bernie. So, he's chilling. We might self-freeze him. Okay, he's going to self-freeze me. It don't matter, though. Dang it, I missed the self-freeze. Toss him the well done. It didn't really affect me, but nicely played. <laughs> That's actually fine for us, because uh, now... He just wasted a self freeze, which is awesome. Let's get up the juggy. Um. All right. All right, buddy. We get it. We get it. Just gonna keep getting these up. We're gonna go for a round eleven rush. Let's get up a juggy or two. There we go. We'll be fine. So then this, we'll self freeze. See what he does. And we'll keep getting this up. I don't know if he's going to be chilling here. He needs to get up a artillery battery, maybe. I think he's vibing. Nicely played. I'm going to use that. Place that. All right, so now we just farm, farm, farm for a little bit. If he wants to rush me, I'll get up a... Let's just get it up right now, actually, one of these. Boom, boom, boom. Collect these bananas. Boom, boom, boom. We don't need these anymore. Need get up a big one. Right there. In game, in game. Vibing. All right, this is all I'm going to do for farms. Now I'm going to get a max fan club going. And we're going to put these all on strong, I think. Which is really bold. Actually, I'll do half and half. I'll do half and half. So we'll do that. All right. So yeah, now we just spam defense here. All right, it doesn't matter if they're freaking fan clubbed or not, all right? Literally doesn't matter. And we're gonna get up a bunch of jugs too. All right, I'm not gonna rush him till round 20, but we will rush round 20 for sure, 100%. All right, I, it's just gonna be time to sell farms here shortly. So this is kind of just who knows how to play, who's gonna strategize better in this moment is kind of what we're dealing with right now. And I'm going with the Jug Spam. I'm going with the Jug Spam. Jug Spam and the Mortar Stall. So we're actually going to sell all these. We're going to get like this. We're going to get like this. And we're going to get like this. All right. We're going to send this. Can I rush? Can I rush? Can I rush? Can I rush? Thank you. All right. Just like that. Just like this. All right, he's gonna be fine, but this is keeping him busy and I have 800k, so it doesn't hurt to do this kind of rush. Let's get the fan club going at all times. This is like all time sweat R3 Spinanza, boys. This is like full sweat by the sensei right now. So we're just gonna keep sending him this. We're gonna self-freeze him. 
And we're gonna have a fan club going at all times. We can't sell those farms. I really wanna sell those farms. He really needs to counter. He really needs to counter. This might be a GG. Uh, we don't have so yeah, GG. He never countered. He's too busy defending on his side. Um, actually, I'm gonna code him tier zero now. We'll play. We'll play one game of tier zero. And he's one of the best Cobra players in the world, so it's gonna be tough to handle. But we'll give her a shot. So I'm gonna try. No, I have to change all my freaking powers. Awesome. It should just be an option to have a boost only game mode. Like, why is that not a thing, man? Don't know, bro. So we're gonna have our track power first slot. Boom. Boom power last slot. Boom. And yeah, we're gonna try boat mortar. We'll get like five farmers here. Toss on the GL. He's prestige 12 right now. He's actually been grinding once. I didn't think he played powers. I, I, I don't think he does. Maybe not though. But yeah, self freeze is so annoying, dude. I kind of wish he countered last game, though. It would have been interesting to see how it would have went down. I had a ton of signal flares or artillery batteries, though. So by, by the time self was over, I'd been able to mortar micro like crazy. So, all right. Let's get it. Oh, my gosh. I was going to replace a farm because that was Bonanza. That's awkward. All right. So if he's going Cobra, which he probably is, we run in the round first so he can't get two wired funds up before the start of round two. So we'll see, he might be going Cobra, he might be farming, I'm unsure, but we're gonna rock boat mortar, something I don't really use very often, but it can be a solid counter to Cobra if you play it correctly um, by getting an early BIA. And that's gonna be the plan. So I still think he's going Cobra. I'd be shocked if he's not. I'd be pretty shocked. So we're gonna go straight for our farm and then we're gonna greed and slowly get a grape shot. Might leak a little bit in the process, but nothing to really worry about. So, with that big boy flowing here in a sec, maybe he's straight up ecoing. I actually won't be too surprised by that. Because that seems to be. He seems to be going for like the unique kind of strats and style of play that is pretty unorthodox. So, if that works for him, that works for him. So, I'm going to toss him some pinks here in a sec. We'll see. We just want to force defense and make these rounds go by quicker. So obviously, if he has better popping power, he's going to end the rounds earlier, which is what we want as a farmer versus an equaler. So we're going to save it for our farm now. We're going to leak still with a grape shot. We're going to have to upgrade that on the left side as soon as round five hits. I might spike that. Mm, nah, we'll save. We'll save. We'll save. All right. Leaking more than I would like. But we do have a plantation, which is great. We're really leaking now. This is tough. So yeah, he is straight up ecoing. Who would have thought, man? I mean, I say our loadout kind of counters eco. I mean, we can farm really well. But so can any boat loadouts. So I don't know. All right, here we go. This is not fun. This is, we don't like leaking freaking, what did we leak? Freaking 84 lives already? Sheesh. Or 94 lives, no. 84. Okay. Yeah, I, I never play against equals on this map, so I'm not used to leaking this much on this map. So it's just kind of new territory here. We really are going to have to get up another faster shooting, aren't we? Nah, he's chilling. He's chilling. He's not rushing us. All right, he's got a really good eco. Really, really good eco. I'm guessing he has glue and something else as his third. He still could have Cobra. I'm not ruling that out either, by the way. He could just play being super eco-heavy Cobra. Which wouldn't surprise me, the slightest. So we're gonna go for our farm. If he goes for a big yellow, actually wait. Depends how many yellows. I should have went for a mortar. This is all I should do for Buccaneers. I should go for mortar from now on. So we'll see his tower load out here shortly. He's not gonna go for a cannon ship. I'd be shocked if he does. We'll farm, farm, farm. Boomer, okay. Glue boomer potentially. I don't know. Toss him that. We'll put that right here. He's meme. He thinks it's a meme strat. It's actually a sweat strat. I thought the same thing at first, but it's actually a sweat strat. It's good. Mortar stall is very underrated. Don't sleep on the mortar stall, baby. All right. Is he going to go? We're going to get the bigger blast here. Is he going to go straight for eco balloons now? That's the question. If he does, I'm gonna have to get a destroyer. 
I'm fine boosting, honestly. If he wants to go for a rush, I'm fine boosting. Let's just get up a longer cannon. Stick. No, we're, yeah, we're fine. I'm not even going to sweat, bro. We're vibing. Maybe I do go for a destroyer, but not yet. See, our forms are good. We should be able to get a round 16 BIA. In theory. So I, I'm liking that a lot. Region lights might be kind of troublesome, but let's place this in the very top left here. I'm not going to upgrade that yet because I want to get a destroyer for next round. He's just equaling, equaling. Still don't know his third tower. Probably a stall of some sort. Makes the most sense. Um, I guess we could rush on this round. Or I could just go for a BIA. Definitely a BIA is the play, so I'm not even going to rush. Very passive, but we're going to get 80 eco out of this, so that's fine with me. Perfect. If he wants to try to punish, be my guest. We'll be fine in game in game. So yeah, that, the burning stuff works super well with the boat. Very nice kind of combination of towers. All right. So we're good. We have a BIA. We can still defend somewhat late and stall and counter with our loadout. Don't get me wrong, but Mr. D's does have very good micro, so we have to be on alert for that. I'm going to go for a rush. He's going to spike that. I'm going to bait him into placing more spikes. Didn't work. Okay. Well, we're going to rush here. Never mind. He has a destroyer. I didn't think he'd actually get that up. So he'll be fine. We have, he's probably at like a thousand eco, I would say. Just about. He keeps placing spikes like I'm going to send him a Moab. He's going to be mad. <laughs> I ain't sending you a Moab, bro. I don't know. There's no point in me sending you a Moab right now. It's really not. You can easy turbo that and defend. So yeah, we're going to chill with what we got. 20%. That's tough. Move that right there. Watch out for camel ceramics, though. Those can be deadly. You need to be on alert for that. Place this over here. Okay. BIA should be cooking up a good amount. 8K only? Come on, bruh. All right. Well. Well, well, well. Do I go for a second mortar? I think I will, actually. I'll go for another mortar. Because we're about to die here. Uh, we're actually going to sell that because I don't want to die. All right. That is not fun, but we're fine now. I think I need to get up a second destroyer here. Obviously, for round 22, I'm going to need another one. But um, those two. Let's get that up. He's just straight E going. I'll probably sell my BIA here shortly. We don't know his third. It's It's got to be Ninja, bro. Or Ace. I think it's Ace. I actually think his third is Ace. I don't know why. I just have a feeling it's Ace. I don't think I've ever seen that loadout. But for some reason, I have a feeling it's Ace. I feel like I know this guy too well. It's going to be Ace. Which will be interesting. If it is Ace, his oh my gods aren't going to do much. Can I not afford that? Thank you. Thank you. We'll do that. Put one on Strong and that'll solo. Now back on first, mortar the micro, micro the mortar, excuse me. Oh my god, I thought we just died. That was not good. That definitely looked like we just died. Okay, I need to, these are both on first, okay. Well, well, well. He's like max equaling right now. I really think I should sell this. Man, oh man. Hold up. So say he does have ace. I still think I all out. Oh man, this is going to be tough. I think we can drain him though. But if he does have ace, which is my feel, my gut feeling is that he does. I need to keep my BA. I need to keep that to at least round 26. So one more full cash out and then we'll do it. But it's going to be tough to defend counters. But we do have... I mean, if our micro is on point, we can defend around 30 all out. We really can. Or at least stall long enough for him to die to a counter of our sorts. So let's get up another one of these, by the way. Don't want to be dying here, bro. Cannot accept death right now. So let's get up the crow's nest so I don't die to pinks either. Our farms aren't bad. His eco is really freaking good. He's been max ecoing for a fat amount of time, so... 
We have to be keeping in mind that he's gonna have a really good eco, but how good of an eco is gonna be enough? Because the GZ is ain't no cheap freaking upgrade, I'll tell you that. If you wanna spam by those, have fun with that. I think the solos, he's saying sad emojis like I'm gonna die, but I'm not gonna die here. We were close last time, but we avoided death. That's all that matters. Okay. He just sold that? He's rebuying it, okay. He just re- what are you doing? I don't know. Oh, he didn't mean to buy a turbo or something? I don't know. Weird. 1180 eco, let's just go 1200. And yeah, I want, after this round, after round 27, we'll cash that out. Let's go ahead and get up another destroyer. Can I afford you? Thank you. He's going for a Glaive Lord, actually. Can I place you? Holy. Should be able to fit one here, but left side sucks. Uh, that sucks. What a shame, man. Man. All right, AI Moabs. Let's get up one more destroyer. Put two of these on strong. We'll rest on first. Go with that. That's just solo, eh? Very nice, very nice. Two Gla I don't think Glaive Lord spam is the move. Glaive Lords are pretty ass, let's be honest here. Cash that out, boom, boom. All right, it's a little late game action, eh? Must be a 30-ish minute video, damn. Why are you spiking? I ain't rushing yet, buddy. I ain't rushing yet. I don't want my eco to go to waste quite yet. I do want to get up some more destroyers, though. That's good enough. Six in there is fine. I, I know I could probably sweat and get more. He, okay, he just showed you had ice. He has ice as his third. Holy, who would have guessed? Who would have thought, man? Who would have thought? So I'm not even going to rush him quite yet. Around 30, though, we'll start sending him space. Oh, my God. For a little bit. Or I, get, I think I still get one more facility. I really do. So I'm going to move this. We'll get this right here. We'll get that up right there. Put that right there, put that right there. All right, so I don't know how many facilities we have. I just know it's a lot. So we're gonna save it for a rush right now. And we'll start that right now, see how he does. And we'll slowly, at round 32 hits, we're gonna do fast cooldowns. Okay, never mind. Round 32 is gonna amplify his ice shards by crazy amounts. So it's actually not smart to send him anything until round 33. But at the same time, if he counters, it's, we're in for some trouble going to be kind of problematic for us. We're going to have to micro our mortar stall like a madman. So he is going for that. We'll toss him a nice. All right. Let's get up the big one here. In game. Plop that baby right there. I think we can defend a decently sized counter in all honesty. So let's see. He's max ecoing right now. Am I seeing that correctly? Interesting. He do be max ecoing. I don't know if this is the play, my guy. I really don't. I don't think you should be max ecoing. We're going to go ahead and go for an all out right here. And I am going to be shocked if you defend this. He's going to counter. Let's go. He do be countering. We're going to spike that. Easy. Or no counter. Did he actually? Okay, here he comes. All right, let's go, baby. Micro time, micro time, micro time. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right, easy. What is this rush, man? What is this rush, man? That's the easiest defend of my life if I've ever seen one. Please don't go. Please don't die yet. I want a micro. I want a micro. Don't die yet. Don't die yet. No, man. GG's. Please enjoy the video, my traveler. I mean, this goes one piece.